The story finishes up here in Acts chapter 19, and starting in verse 19, it says, If there is anything further you want to bring up, it must be settled in a legal assembly. As it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of today's events. Now see, Alexander shared this with the crowd because he knew that if they were to continue down this path, that there's a lot of people who could get in a lot of trouble in many different ways. He was the voice of reason at this time. In other words, he was someone that people looked to as far as wisdom. He was someone who had earned the position he was in. And you may have earned the position that you're in today, whether it's at your work, uh, as a mom or a dad. The interesting thing is, is that Alexander was not a believer. And yet he turned to Paul, who for whatever reason had reached him, and he imitated what it is that Paul would have done in that situation. Paul's heart had to be breaking this entire time, wanting to be out there for them. Watch the very last thing that happens. It says, As it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of today's event. In that case, we would not be able to account for this commotion since there is no reason for it. After he had said this, he dismissed the assembly. In other words, when people are after us, when people want to put us down for the way we live or to disciple others or to share wisdom, whatever it might be, Really many times there's not a whole lot to it. I don't believe any of us are going to run into 20 plus thousand people wanting to yell at us for our faith and our walk. But it starts with us reaching one person at a time in your world and in my world to show the way to be a disciple and to share Christ. Think about that, live it, pray about it, and we'll see you tomorrow.